Okay, so this should be what the scale looks like when it's in motion or whatever. So let me uh, just touch this beam here a little bit. Yeah, let's look at that piece of paper on there. So, uh, you know, with luck you can see the motion of the needle. And uh, that's what it looks like. This thing is impossible to light. And, uh, yeah. See, I'm not touching the scale right now just finding its own equilibrium. It's pretty sensitive, you know? It's more sensitive than, uh, you know, than world peas. I want you to visualize world peas. And uh, keep in mind that this thing is pretty hard to, uh, yeah, pretty hard to light, you know? Due to all the reflections and whatever. So yeah, reflections of the way things used to be, you know? So yeah, this is the, uh, this is how we weigh stuff here. When we want to weigh stuff weighing multiple pounds using this scale, it takes quite a while. Like, <laughs> and there's a lot of math. But, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but uh, anyway, um, yeah, this is the scale that weighs one gram for your viewing pleasure. Let me show you what it looks like over here on the right here. I'll zoom out a little for you. And, uh, I mean, I say I will. But see, there's the right side of the beam. And, uh, you can see where the capacities are marked. And, uh, you know, on the right-hand side over there, maybe you can see it. Whoops, there you go. See, most of the light's coming up from the inside of the scale now. I got a big photo lamp here. And uh, you can see the mechanism inside there, if you're looking closely. There's the front view of the scale and whatever. So yeah, let me uh, let me uh, tilt this down a little for you. And uh, you know, with luck, uh, you can see inside the scale and whatever. I'm sure it's still in motion for your viewing pleasure and whatever. So here's your little sliding rod. Well, you can't see it; it's out of the frame. But uh, yeah, take my word for it; it's in there. And uh, the sliding weight thing, well, let's see. Uh, the sliding weight thing on the arm, maybe I can show you that. Yeah. Right, see? There's this little fork that you swing over and you slide the weight like that. See, now it's on the lower. It's in the bottom left of your frame. See where the little fork's wiggling? Yeah, that, that moves the uh, sliding uh, weight. Okay, so now it's at three mm, point three point three six gram or thirty six one hundredths of a gram. See the little wiggling thing? That fork hooks onto that and moves the sliding weight. It's a torsion balance, you know. And uh, you know there's hair beams. Maybe you can see the hair beam, it's uh right down the center there. Uh parallel with the needle. It's visible on both sides of the, uh, well, probably can't see it. But anyway, yeah, it's in there. Take my word for it. They're all, six of them are in there. And they're all intact, believe it or not. This is an old scale. But none of them are broken. And, uh, you know, these are the type of scales we like to use when we get a chance, you know, because we got a lot of time to kill. And, uh, you know, this is a good thing to use for weighing things because it's it's been, well, you know, scientifically proven over the years that, there you go, I just tapped on it with the end of a ballpoint pen. See, the mechanism is very fine, very precise, very precision, and, uh, and very desirable, I think, you know. You're laying lower this down for you so you can see the glamour. You can catch the full glamour on the left side of the scale, see. The full glamour, not just partial glamour. If you buy this, you'll have what I call full glamour, not partial glamour. This scale will give you the full quota of glamour, not just partial glamour. You can do rocket science. You can do stuff like weigh nuclear uh, uh, atoms and uh, nucleus radions. You can, uh, you know, you can use it to weigh. I don't know, a P might be too heavy, you know, 
You can weigh all sorts of stuff. You can, whatever, you know, weighs a gram or less, let's put it that way. Stuff like postage stamps, you can weigh those without the envelope now. You can't weigh it if it has an if it's attached to an envelope, it's no good for you. You got to use it without the envelope, okay? Yeah. So, uh, let me zoom out for you so you can get a better view. And uh, here. Hold on. So, yeah, this is what the scale looks like in its entirety, see? Got this little lid here that goes up and down. Yeah. Like, yay. And it's got this uh, thing here. I'm twirling with my right hand, which moves this thing in there. See, it slides the weight which we've already demonstrated. Let me show you the right-hand side, because it's pretty exciting. I mean the left-hand side. There's the left-hand side, see? Is that nice or what? Now let me show you the interior of the scale. Get in there for a real nice close-up if you can. I don't know, maybe it's going to burn out with too much light. The hair beams are in there. There's one of them on the left. And... in the center low and this may burn out up there there's another one and on the right low there's another one and right there at the top right there's another one and these are the little platforms here see here's one of them right here and here's one with a piece of paper on it. So yeah, these little platforms lift off, like yay. And see this little thing, I call it a platform holder. It slides through that, which is a hole in the glass. And this thing looks like yay. Goes on there. Got to make sure it's seated. And you put the platform back on there like yay. And you see the scales in motion again. Oh yeah, this is basically what it looks like. It's a torsion balance made in USA, this is not made in China. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget, torsion balance is the way to go. Alrighty then, bye bye.